So this is a forged carbon wing, so it's 100% carbon. It's actually quite heavy because it doesn't have a foam core in it. And I've found, you know, people really talk about weight with, um, you know, you pick up a light wing and a heavy wing and, and they're like, well, why would you build them heavy? But weight in surfing has a, a big, it plays a big part of the, how the wing actually performs on the wave. And I look at it this way. If you have a heavy wing, it has a lot of inertia, kind of like if you were riding a mountain bike or any or a road bike would be a better example. So you're on your road bike and you're going downhill and your friend weighs 250 pounds and you weigh 120 pounds. Who's gonna go the faster to the bottom of the hill? You know, it's, so the physics is all there as far as weight and momentum. You know, where you want light is pumpability. So when you want to accelerate, so you have all this glide, you don't have to pump this wing because it has all this, a lot of glide because of this inertia, this weight. Once it's caught the wave and you brought up the speed, it doesn't decelerate very fast. So it has a great feel as far as glide and performance. Where the downside of weight is when you you know carve out and you want to pump. Now you're on that, you're the 120 pound guy, you hit the flats, you know, the heavy guy's way ahead of you because you keep ripped on you on the downhill, but now he's going uphill. Who's going to win the uphill battle? The light guy. So I kind of found that the solid carbon wings are still in the range where they're still pumpable. You know, they could be lighter for better pumping, but they're still pumpable so you can link a couple waves. But the glideability is more important, you know, how they glide on the wave. Because if you make one that's really light, what happens is if you pump great, you, you're on the, you pump out, you catch a wave, and you pump in, and you pump out. There's no glide, so you're pumping the whole time. So basically you can lap, but you're gonna pump. Even when you're on the wave, you're gonna have to continue to pump to can keep the momentum going, because it just doesn't have the mass to, to an acceleration of just the flow down the wave surface. So being solid carbon, uh, the downside is getting into the water, being a little heavier. But once you're on the water, the benefits are in glide and, and not having to pump on the wave. So if you're looking for a setup that is completely surfing on the wave without a lot of pumping, this is the way to go. And you know, and it's still light enough where you, it pumps with that jackhammer technique, um, you can still lap waves with it. So it's kind of a good compromise. And of course, you know, the durability of being solid carbon, I mean, the thing is bomber. And yeah, if you smash the reef with it and you nick it, you know, it's just, you can fix it with a little um, body filler and paint or, you know, resin, but it's not gonna really, you're not gonna break it. It's gonna take an amazing um, strike to, to do any damage to this wing.